Final Cut Pro screenshot, AKA dealing a frame, AKA taking a still from your footage, AKA greatest high quality YouTube image thumbnail grabber maker thing ever? Maybe. So it might sound strange that I'm saying that you should be using a video editing software for a YouTube thumbnail. Maybe you just don't have time to stage a photo for your thumbnail image and you wanna grab something from the video clip. I know in the past, I've been pretty lazy about this and just used shift command four to do a, take a screenshot of whatever's on my screen. Or maybe while you were shooting the video, you just kind of freeze. Stop judging me. Okay, I'm gonna use that for the thumbnail. We've all done that. But if you want the highest quality, highest resolution image you can get, there's a much better and equally as easy way to do it using Final Cut Pro. I'll be honest, there was like two years, two years I was using Final Cut Pro. I didn't even know that this option was there. So I was using Command Shift 4 all the time, but no more. So if you're like me, you shoot everything in the highest resolution that your camera is capable of. Now for me and many other people, that's 4K. Now for a lot of other people, it's 1080p. Maybe some people might even be as low as 720p if you're shooting on a really old camera. And since we all know how important thumbnails are, you really want to be using the highest, cleanest resolution of that image to portray the video that you want people to come see. Now the second reason why I think using Final Cut Pro to grab the highest quality still image from your video is because it actually saves you a lot of time. If you have to stage a photo or you're trying to grab a photo from somewhere else to try to make it work, you still have to do a lot of editing and you're probably gonna want that style or aesthetic of that image to match your aesthetic of the video. So if you take your photo, you're then gonna have to take it into Lightroom or whatever editing software that you use and try to match everything up. Whereas if you use Final Cut Pro to grab your screenshot, all of your color grading and fixtures, fixings, fixins, color style, the look you like, all that's already done. It's gonna match perfectly with your video. And that is gonna save you a ton of time so you don't have to try to match things up. So right now I'm gonna show you how you can set up your version of Final Cut Pro, and it really doesn't matter what version you're using, how you can set it up to be able to grab these highest quality frame grabs from any part of your footage. And we're gonna do it in like three clicks, I think. All right, so we've got Final Cut open and what I've got here is some cool roller derby. If you've never seen roller derby, uh, check this clip out real quick. I love roller derby. Okay, so we're gonna take one of these frames in here, right around in here, let's just say right here. This is all shot in 4K, so I wanna grab this high resolution 4K image for my thumbnail. Now here's how we're gonna do this. Now it doesn't matter what version of Final Cut Pro you're using, it's always gonna be in your export tab. So at the time of making this, we've got the export button over here in the top right hand corner. If it moves, it moves, but it's always gonna be in your export section. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna pull up all your little export options. Now you see there's really nothing over here that says anything about taking a screenshot or whatever. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to add destination. We're gonna click that and we're gonna go over here to where it says save current frame. We're just gonna drag this on over here wherever I'm gonna drag it up here to the top. I like to just go ahead and set this as a JPEG but you'll see you'll have all these options here. You can save as a Photoshop file, a PNG file, a TIFF file, a bunch of different options, but really JPEG, PNG, really the only ones you need to worry about. We're gonna leave this as checked, scale image to preserve aspect ratio. So if it's a 4K video file, then it's gonna be 4K. If you set your video parameters as a 1080, it's gonna be 1080, even if you're using 4K footage. All right, so we have that, we've dragged it over there. We're just gonna Close that. Now, when we go back over here to the export button, we see we have save current frame. Oh, well, let's just click on that. You can see here it's saving it as a JPEG because that's how we set it. Uh, you could also change this at any time by going to settings and changing all that. Now, one very important thing to remember about exporting, whether that's ex exporting a still or exporting a, a full project, that's if you're editing in proxy files. Now. Proxy files are a whole nother topic for a whole nother video that we'll go into another time. But proxy files can truly speed up your editing process 
tremendously when you're doing high resolution files like 4K and above. If you are editing in proxy files, you must remember to switch back over to the optimized version. Otherwise, you're just gonna export your proxy files, which are a lower quality or lower resolution version of the file. Now, if you're not sure if you've been editing in proxy files, because that's generally something that's ticked in the importing of the footage, sometimes that's set on default, sometimes it's not. But if you're not sure, you go up here to view, click on that, scroll down to media. If you do have proxy files, this will show up. You can see that I do have proxy files because I'm editing 4K footage. So I always build proxy files to speed up my editing workflow. So I wanna go back here and click optimized. Then you can go back and export that full resolution, full high quality version of the thumbnail for your YouTube video. Using Final Cut Pro to take the screenshot is gonna save you a ton of time. And saving time and teaching you how to edit things faster and better is really what this whole channel is about and why I'm making these videos. So if you wanna learn how to do some more things faster, you're probably gonna to wanna to check out the whole video up here and maybe down there if I'm pointing in the right direction. And um, subscribe. I can hear my daughter in there watching The Addams Family. Do 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 do. 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 Screen recording go. Okay.